uh, what do you look as the uh, as the main reason and do you think that it is very important to look at the plethora of documents and studies that have already been done we know what an ecologically sensitive place this is we know about its uh, uh, seismic activity pending seismic activity we know what impact these construction projects are going to have and yet we are looking for those reasons so what's your assessment sanket the um, i think the writing is on the wall whether we read it or not is another matter the fact is you are absolutely right there have been a plethora of studies there are a plethora of scientific institutions based in uttarakhand uh, who are supposed to uh, specialize in himalayan geology himalayan science and yet we just don't seem to plan appropriately for a fragile ecosystem like the himalayas we have a completely false narrative that is taking place here that this is about growth versus development this is a uh, growth uh, versus environment this is not development versus environment this is mindless senseless development okay it is not good for the environment it is not good for the people of uttarakhand so let's be very clear about this that this uh, model of so called growth that has been followed in the himalayas is just completely inappropriate for a region like the himalayas himalayas is the world's youngest mountain range it is the most fragile it is literally building on moraine i keep getting the i keep uh, people tell me but you know the alps are like this you cannot compare the himalayas to the alps you cannot compare the himalayas even to the shayadris in india hmm. the himalayas will require planning the question that we should be asking ourselves i think in the long in not the long term right now there's crisis there's compensation which administrations will handle the question is why is administ why is policy becoming so knowledge proof is it because scientists don't have the courage to speak out is it because scientists basically believe strongly that they can conquer nature that there is no that there is no problem in the kind of senseless planning we are doing as engineers or is it because policy has become so obdurate that it does not listen to this knowledge which comes even from its own internal scientific institutions if it does i think that's the crisis of joshimant 